Hi guys, Michael Jensen here. Welcome to this mini series where we're going to tie four flies, all kind of spin off from a video we made earlier on how to make flies from skin patches, different kind of uh, skin and stuff. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll put a link in the description below. Check that out as a good starting point for tying these four flies. All of these flies uh, are tied with a dubbing loop technique. The first one up is my version of a red squirrel nymph. Let's get on with the tying. I attach the tank thread, work my way down the shank, take a piece of this squirrel body hair, make a suitable bunch for the tail, I peel out this soft underfur, most of it at least. Then I tie in this short tail. And attach a length of wire for the rib. Then I wax the thread and take some of the under fur from this skin patch. There's just a little bit of guard hairs in, but mostly it's under fur. I twist it around the thread, no dubbing loop here, just Pinch it on the thread and uh, twist it. Then I build up the abdomen, making it slightly fatter as I go forward. Then go up with the ribbing. and tie off. Wiggle that rip and rip it off. Then I make a dubbing loop and put this spinning wheel into the loop, the dubbing twister. Add a little wax. Then I choose a bunch of hair. I leave a good part of the underfur in this bunch together with the guard here. Just trimming. Spreading it out a little bit in the loop. And then I spin the twister. 
and make this kind of dubbing rope brush off the, the loose fibers and we're ready to wind this hair haggle pull back the fibers for each turn Tie off, cut the thread from the dubbing loop, then I pull all fibers back, and make a whip finish. Then I brush off loose fibers and tease out some of the fibers in the body just to make it more fuzzy. Then a drop of lacquer. Okay guys, that's all for today. See you around. Thanks for watching.